going down here with Stop Phone Scammers, and today I've got a tutorial for you guys. Uh, this is something that people have been asking me <laughs> quite a bit uh, recently, and, uh, and that's how to change uh, the virtual machine to match your host. And so that way when scammers go into MSinfo, they won't see that it says VMware Virtual Platform, and it will give, it will give yourself away so quickly. Um, <clears throat> now, I decided to make a tutorial on this because I had a hard time myself trying to figure this out, because this is kind of a big issue. Uh, scammers figuring out that's a virtual machine, which some, most cases scammers are stupid, but some of the most experienced scammers kind of figure it out when they go into MS Info, and that's why in my previous video has always said MS Info blocked. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys here. Um, this is actually, uh, uh oops. <laughs> Alright, that's Discord, by the way, guys. If you have not joined, that link's below. I'm going to go to uh, System Info. Alright, never mind, I can't do it that way. Alright, maybe I'm asking info 32. Alright. Alright, so you can see it says VMware Virtual Platform, so that's what we're going to change. So you want to know, um, <laughs> you're going to want to know uh, what your, um, basically your, uh, what I'm trying to say here, your computer manufacturer is, because um, that's what's going to be changed to. Um, so, my computer is a custom built computer and the motherboard's an ASUS motherboard, so it's gonna show up as ASUS, um, obviously. Um, so I just you wanna keep that in mind. You can figure that out by going to here and then going to properties and looking at it there. That's one way to go figure that out. Or you can go to system info on your actual computer and do it that way. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, shut down the virtual machine and uh wait for this guy to shut down. I figured I'd use this Windows XP machine it seems like a very good tutorial machine. <clears throat> Alright, so once that shuts down, you want to close out of uh, VMware. Alright, so now you're going to want to navigate to where your virtual hard drives are stored. Now, by default, uh, VMware stores them in uh, C, Documents, uh, Virtual Machines, um, and you can find it in there. Uh, but in my case, um, I have mine saved on a separate hard drive, which I recommend you guys do. Um, if you guys um, have a desktop or I guess a desktop, whatever, um, I would definitely go for if you have if your computer can handle it and you have the room for it, uh, go out and buy another hard drive. Uh, they're like thirty bucks to get a cheap seventy-two hundred RPM hard drive that you know five hundred gigabytes. I mean, real cheap, and uh, you know it puts a little bit less stress on your actual hard drive. Um, I noticed that when I was running it on my actual hard drive, my computer would freeze up; it would just lock up. And I've got a pretty, um, I guess, I won't say beefy, but it's pretty, it's pretty specked up, I would say. <laughs> and, and, uh, you know, it shouldn't have been locking up like that. I figured out it was because it's hard drives locking up, but, um, yeah, anyway. Even if you have a USB, um, external hard drive, that would work too. Um, so, anyway, just something to think about. So, uh, we're going to navigate to the virtual machine, and uh, this is the Windows XP that we were using, so I'm going to go into that. And uh, you're going to look for the .vmx file, and uh, it has this icon right here. It's right here. It has that icon, kind of. And uh, if you guys are wondering what um, uh, VMware version I'm using, I'm using VMware version 9. Uh, I believe it'll work on uh, 9 and up. I can't say anything lower. Um, and I don't know if it'll work on VMware Player either. I'm not sure 100% about that. And VirtualBox, it's a whole different story. I have no idea. Um, so uh, anyway, so what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to find this, uh, your .vmx file. You want to uh, click it, right-click it, and then go to Edit. Now, I was probably say like Edit with Notepad or something like that. Um, I have Notepad++, and uh, I recommend you download that and install it. It's a free Notepad program. And <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a problem with a mod on Discord. Um, so, uh, when you guys... I, I recommend you download that. I kind of like lost track there. I recommend you download this and use it. But uh, if you have Notepad, you want to do like an open with and then choose another app, then select Notepad. But I'm going to select Notepad++. Plus Plus. And uh, you'll see all these things. And I'll have a code down in the description. And you'll want to scroll down and you want to paste that code in. And it's right there. You want to paste that in. It says... Uh, basically, it's saying the bias will reflect your host, host bias. So, that's what it's going to do. So, uh you want to do that, you want to file, and you want to click save. Now, I had to do this a couple times for some reason. It kept erasing the code, so I ended up doing, uh, you may not have to do this, but I had to do this. So if you go to, uh, or I click and go to properties, uh, security, advanced, uh, and then we go 
to uh, uh, let's see if we disable that. Yep. And uh, make sure I am the owner. Yeah. I just want to make sure I'm the owner. All right. Okay, it's set it up there. All right. Uh, oops, I'm going to the wrong spot here. All right. I don't do this too often. All right, you want to click full control, apply, okay, and then uh, I'll just say, I usually just remove all these and just leave myself up there and give myself full control and click okay and uh, double check, make sure it's still there, which it should be, yep, and save it again. That's okay, it's already fine. All right, and uh, you can actually just double click it right here and open it up. And we'll power on the virtual machine. that guy start up. You may not have to actually uh, change permissions on the file. Um, if it keeps erasing for some reason and it's not working, that's what I did to fix it. Um, you may not have to do that, but I ended up having to do that for whatever reason. That seemed to fix it. So uh, here we go, starting up. info alright, let's load it up here and also if you guys want me to uh, another video I can show you guys how to hide VMware tools from programs and features, that's also really easy um, I did that as well you haven't seen that yet, but I've, I've I did that as well um, on my actual computer, my VM that I use for the scammer because it's just easier like that. Alright, now you can see it says uh, system manufacturer is ASUS and uh, and it's matching my system now. So that's that's really it. It's really simple. Um, I mean, it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Now, uh, there's no way they could tell it's a virtual machine unless they go into programs and features and see VMware tools, which in a later video, if you guys want me to, I can make a tutorial on how to hide that from programs and features as well. So I hope this helps. Uh, I'm sorry I'm like core about making tutorials. Um, I hope you guys understood this and um, uh, yeah. So anyway, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.